Some people say true journeys don't have a clear beginning, middle, and end. Momentous occasions become merely snapshots in the mind, and some days fly by with no memory at all. But sometimes, if you're lucky, what you find along the way becomes the reason for the journey. The journey itself becomes a destination. Our journey began in a small classroom baking in the January sun. Grade four, Grant called out. Little did we know that by raising our hands, we were about to embark upon the most challenging and rewarding experience of our lives. The momentary excitement of a new venture was immediately shattered upon hearing that we were to have 44 learners in our class. Anticipation turned to anxiety as we realized that this was truly to be experiential learning. After completing our first class with Grant, we knew the expectation of us was high. We heard that we were to enable empowerment and change mindsets by creating new knowledge spaces with the LineDoc community. We entered our first day in grade four with meticulously outlined plans and heads held high, confident that we could tackle any challenge that may await us. We boarded the train home to Stellenbosch that afternoon, feeling like we had been hit by a train. The learners immediately took advantage of the wide-eyed newcomers, and the scene of grade four that day could only be described as chaos. Our plans were too ambitious and had not been developed in collaboration with our partner educator. Over time, we learned that this relationship of mutual respect and understanding was vital to our success in the classroom. By involving our partner educator as a stakeholder in our learning process, the dynamic of our classroom was radically changed. It has been this dialectical process of constantly learning and evolving that has characterized our experience. In planning our lessons, we identified needs within the microsystems of our learners to develop a unique and independent sense of self, not defined by any outside factors. As such, we weekly utilized check-ins and planned activities to give each individual child a stage to voice their unique characteristics, as well as an audience to affirm this self-determination. It was these abstract needs that presented themselves as the biggest challenge to our work. We sought to make our presented material relevant while still breaking down the poverty of exposure and awareness that many of our children hold. In this effort, we utilized a partnership with the art school in the U.S. owned by Kelly's mother. During her visit to South Africa, she brought art supplies and taught the learners how to use watercolors. Before coming to South Africa, she had collected information about her students and their photographs towards our effort to create Art Buddies, a program between the two groups of students. The students from the U.S. shared pictures and information about themselves, as well as their artwork with the students of LineDoc. In turn, the learners of grade four shared these gifts with the students of Kelly's mom. We hope that this relationship and new knowledge space will continue to be sustainable even upon our departure. This commitment to the LineDoc community developed organically, almost unconsciously, as we found ourselves at home among its residents. After our visit with Kathleen, we decided this was a relationship we truly wanted to make reciprocal, attempting in some way to repay her for the sharing of her story and herself. Be it shopping trips in Stellenbosch, lunch at Dros, or working in her garden, we felt at home with Kathleen and felt privileged to share in her life story. Our journey at LineDoc has been one defined by reciprocity. We can only hope that our students have taken away as many lessons from us as we have taken from them. As much as we have sought to create a new mindset within our students, they have helped us to shape and mold our own mindsets. We have learned to be patient in the community development process and show grace under the pressures of a hectic classroom. We have developed understanding towards human nuances and now know that growth does not occur in a vacuum. We have come to appreciate small victories, learning to actively seek the good in each of our students. LineDoc has become our home away from home. Home is a place of love and comfort, of support and encouragement. Home makes you realize the best in yourself and others. 
Home for us has become the walls of Lyondock, our classroom, the garden, and the faces of our learners. Despite the many obstacles this semester, we look at Lyondock, and we are home. We look beyond the vineyards into the mountains and know that this place has given us treasures beyond any explanation. We have learned to see difficulty with new eyes. Each quiet victory of our learners, each ring of the interval bell, and each Friday held in the company of kindred spirits have continued to mold us as individuals. We will return to the United States as those who have been shaped by this journey grateful for its triumphs as well as its failures, its achievements as well as its pitfalls. The journey has been the destination and we will never be the same. Let us be. Let us be.